And we also have former Democrat Congresswoman and 2020 Democratic presidential candidate, a woman that everybody loves. I watched her years ago where she, she just had so much common sense. You know, we're the party of common sense. We, I like to say it because it's true. Like, we don't want men playing in women's sports. We want to have borders. We want to have fair elections. You know, little things like that. Common sense, right? But uh, she's here tonight, and I'm going to just ask her to come up and say a couple of words. Tulsi Gabbard. <laughs> You know, I was a Democrat for over 20 years. Today's Democrat, thank you. <laughs> Today's Democrat party is completely unrecognizable, which points to the clear choice that we have in this election today. When you look at the party of Kamala Harris, for example, she is anti-freedom, she is pro-censorship, she is pro-open borders, and she is pro-war without even pretending to care about peace, as President Trump talked about, she has shamelessly embraced the endorsement and support of warmongers like Dick Cheney and Liz Cheney and others who care more about power and feeding the military industrial complex than they care about you, the American people, and peace. President Trump has pledged to end wars, not start them. And this is why, in the eyes of the Kamala Harris, Dick Cheney Democrat Party, they will do everything possible to try to destroy him. You'll see how they have weaponized the federal government. They have weaponized law enforcement, the Department of Justice. They have done everything possible to try to silence him, to try to remove him from the ballot so we the people don't even have the choice to who we want to vote for. Why have they done this? because this man has the courage to take them on and root out the deep rot of corruption in the swamp in Washington. Now, voters have made their voices heard last, loud and clear, not once, not twice, but three times in the last three presidential elections nominating this man to be the Republican nominee for president because of his commitment to these fundamental American principles of freedom and peace and prosperity. USA. Now, to those of you here or those watching at home who are independent-minded people like myself, who love our country and are committed to the Constitution and to freedom, the Democrat Party has no home for, a play, for people like us. But we do have a home in the Republican Party where we are welcomed with open arms by President Trump and so many of you who love our country. And it is because of my love for our country, and specifically because of the leadership that President Trump has brought to transform the Republican Party and bring it back to the party of the people and the party of peace, that I'm proud to stand here with you today, President Trump, and announce that I'm joining the Republican Party. I'm joining the party of the people, 
the party of equality, the party that was founded to fight against and end slavery in this country. It is the party of common sense and the party that is led by a president who has the courage and strength to fight for peace. So, as we stand here today, we have 14 days until the most historic election of our lives. And my message to my fellow Americans, regardless of your political affiliation, now is the time for us to stand together to save our country. There is nothing less than that that's on the line. A vote for President Trump is a vote for a big open tent party that welcomes people from all backgrounds and all walks of life. A vote for President Trump is a vote to express our deep love for our country and our appreciation for our God-given rights and freedoms enshrined in the Constitution. A vote for President Trump is a vote for secure borders and safe communities, and a vote for President Trump is a vote for peace here in America and around the world. I'm looking forward to casting my vote for President Trump because you are our best and only hope in this election to lead our country toward a future where every one of us can live in a truly free, peaceful, and prosperous nation. Every single vote will count. This is our opportunity to vote for freedom, to vote for peace, to vote for America, and vote for President Trump to go back to the White House and make America great again. Thank you so much. I didn't know that. Thank you very much. Tulsi, that's great. Wow, that was a surprise. That was really, she's been independent for a long time. It's a great thing, a great honor. Thank you very much, Tulsi. And what a beautiful speech she made, right? Was it, wasn't that beautiful? 